Hello friends! It's plus 35 centigrade outside, 95 Fahrenheit, horribly hot in the studio, you can see it by my shirt which is wet and my forehead is sweating. But still, we're filming the third series of our project together with Reza.ru, The Knife in the Black Box. In the first two series you have seen Proto from NL Knife and Kershaw Launch 13. What's going to be in the black box today? We'll find out in a few seconds. Let's go! So friends, before I open this box, a little spoiler. Usually I have no idea what's inside, what brand. But this time I know the brand name, but I know which knife they'll send us. Let's open it. But you know, you'll understand it. I don't even have to tell you which brand it is. Those who are watching our Berloga channel just, just need to see the package. Those who are always watching our channel, they know that if it's a tube, that's a beaver knife. Yes, that's a new knife from the beaver knives. But I have no idea which knife it is. And this is very interesting. So, the story is absolutely usual. As we're doing traditionally, I'm gonna open this package together with you. A little presentation of the new knife. We'll see it together at the same time. And uh, as soon as this video goes out, you can see the links below to the beaver knife where you can order this knife as a custom one. And on the reza.ru where you can just come and buy it from stock. You can touch it, try it out, no cues, no lines, everything traditionally. So the, everything goes together on the Berloga channel, on the Beaver Knife and on Reza.ru. So now let's open it. Uh, I have prepared, it's a Beaver Knife, I prepared their Burden Trout one. So I'm really, really excited. Kirill is very active now. Very recently, uh, we had a presentation of his new convex knife, pointer. It's been just a little bit of time and now he has made a new one. He's just rocking. Maybe it's connected with the fishing season. He's a big fisherman, so he had some fun fishing and now he's making great knives, one after another. So definitely the tube is a little bit broken, the delivery company, we have lots of their tubes. Okay, Burden Trout goes aside. By the way, Burden Trout is one of the few knives that you can put on the back and it's not gonna go anywhere. That's made to protect its cutting edge from some ceramics or whatever when you're cutting the food. I have spoken about it in some video. Let's open it. Everything's as usual, papers, stickers. Actually, you see, right? Beaver knife packs their knives in the bags traditions of various big manufacturers, corporations like Apple, for example. Like if you are a fan of unpackings from Vilsicom, for example, or Apple sticker, I'll put it here, I'll put it there. So beaver knives, the same. Warranties, speaks about the sheath, leather made, how to take care of it, the warranty for the knife. So these are the documents. Beaver knives always put it there. The sticker, you can put it on your laptop, you can put this one in your door, wherever you want. Certificate, everything is there. And the tube, beautiful. Apple pales in comparison. And the most interesting now, the knife. Actually, I'm very excited. Usually when you're watching some clips of beaver knives, usually they send me their novelties in advance before they go to the market. I'm testing them, giving them some feedback. Kirill may change something. I usually get beaver knives when they're prototyped. But this time, everything is different. Now I'm gonna see this knife for the first time together with you. That's really exciting. I think the Bird and Trout was also uh, like that. I saw it together with you. 
Remember we were unpacking it when Kirill came here to Ekaterinburg? Oh my... Kirill, what are you doing with me? What are you doing with me? What was I saying? Never mind what I was saying, just look at it. Just let me get conscious. Well, this is a convex. A very thin convex. Seems like two and a half millimeters on the back. Yeah, two and a half millimeters. Yeah, the Berlin Trout is the same. There's the lens, a very thin lens, very delicate. A very unusual handle for the beaver knives. I'm a little at a loss of words, I apologize, so let's go. Okay, the steel is CPM3V. Traditionally, all the custom made knives of the beaver knives are usually made from CPM3V. This is, of course, a custom knife. We can see it by the handle. Such a fantastic handle. A lot of viewers are writing Why do you keep speaking about the beavers? Why are they so special? Well, quite often they speak it much more rudely. But that's the essence. Guys, show me just another producer who would make such beautiful things. Not just once in a while, once a year, like a special project, but does it consistently. Just show me at least one maker. There are none. I'm not saying that people are making bad knives. A lot of people are making great knives, but this is exceptional. How can you not speak about beaver knives? It's just wow. What can I add? Makers, just look how beautiful it is. Yes, the scales are expensive, I understand, but you can order them, you can buy them or something. Just look how beautiful they are, how aesthetic. The pins, the scales, everything's so accurate. Same color, it's just amazing. Naturally, the spine says Beaver Knife Custom. And the knife is called Gran Turismo, my friends, it's Gran Turismo. And judging by the name, this knife is made as a tourist knife. It's not a bushcraft knife, that's not a bushcraft knife at all. If you just look at it, it's far from the bushcraft concept. Gran Turismo says that it's made for tourists. And uh, it looks like it's not the perfected model, because I can see some scratches here. A little bit, maybe some defects when they were producing it. Most likely, Kirill was making this knife for himself and just sent it to me. That's how he usually does. Wow, it's just... It's so small, it's so thin, so pleasant. It's completely different. I don't know. I've known beavers for like four years. We're as close as salt and pepper, but if you close my eyes and give me any beaver knife in my hand, I will definitely say it's a beaver knife. But this one, I won't say that. It's, it's different. It has a completely different handle. It feels totally different in the hand. I, I guess it's comfortable. I don't know. We'll have to test it. The whole month, whole next month, I'll be living with this knife. But it's very unusual. It's very different. Okay, there should be a sheath also. So the sheath, it's practically just like the bird and trout one. Everything's usual, traditional, green stitching, everything's in the same color as the liners. Everything's traditional with the beaver knives. I think the sheath is too big for this knife, it's too massive, for such a delicate knife. It's just my opinion. Well, yeah. We're not gonna make any evaluation now, it's just unboxing. All the appraisal, all the opinions are after one month, because I'll spend a whole month with this knife. We don't have a fire steel here. I wonder why. Usually there is one. But, well, this sheath wouldn't fit a fire steel. It just wouldn't look nice. 
I've made all these experiments with the bird and trout. Guys, I don't really like this cheese for this knife. It seems too massive for it. So far, that's what it seems. We'll keep testing, we'll keep seeing, we'll analyze everything. So, what are we gonna do with it next? Today I got the package, uh, I'm making the video, and tomorrow I'm flying to Karachayeva Cherkessia to film the second season of the Wild DIY. I'll take this knife with me and I'll start testing it there. I'll spend about 10 days there, maybe a little less, and I'll start testing there. I'll try to make some videos, and when I come back, I'll keep testing it here. So for the next month, I'm pleased to announce the next month as the month of Gran Turismo. I'll be testing it. Kirill, you have surprised me. This is a very unusual, an ordinary knife, not just unlike everything you've made before. At least it's interesting. So that's it, friends. There's no point in talking more. I just have to analyze it completely, detailed testing. So far, all I can say is that it's beautiful. As always, with the beaver knives, it's amazingly beautiful. What's happened next? We'll see. So far, I don't like the combination of the sheath with the knife. And it's very unusual when you're holding it. It feels completely different. Once again, as soon as this video goes out, in the description there'll be a link to the beaver knife. Uh, they'll have a new page there for this knife. And there you can read about the concept. What Kirill wanted to make of it. Because I have no idea about it. There, you can read about it, and uh, the link for Reza.ru will also be there. They'll have some such knives in supply, just like other beaver knives. They always have it in stock, you can always come, touch them, buy them immediately without waiting, without the line. If you want something customary, individual, welcome to the beaver knives website. That's it! The month of Gran Turismo is starting, it's been Knife in the Black Box, Reza.ru, Beaver Knife, Berloga Channel, and the new Beaver Knife. See you in a month, have a good one!